Hello, welcome to my channel today. This is a King Street Talk. If this is your first time of joining us. Thank you for clicking to this. Ensure you like, comment, you subscribe, and share this video. Okay. Um, we want to continue on our series on um, um, accounts and day books. Now we've seen the sales day book. Um, if you have not seen that video, I'll drop it up here or in my description. I'm sure you watch that. Now I want to see the purchases day book purchases day book now we've explained in details what it means when we are treating the introduction aspect of this okay now purchases also known as bought okay um is um a goose bought for resale okay now the purchases day book as the name implies is also known as purchases journal okay now this is um, the book that is used in recording credit purchases all credit purchases must pass through the what purchases the book okay before it's posted to the what to the ledger we have done that in details or we'll talk about um day books and what ledgers okay so um the purchases day book is used in recording credit purchases for instance if we have a company and want to buy things from our suppliers okay let's say for instance you have a bakery where you are you make um bread okay and you want to buy flour flour um sugar now once you buy those items on credit you're not paying for them as that when the exchange is taking place that um transaction that recording must pass through what purchases day book okay so say so this is the book using recording what all credit what purchases okay so the purchases day book is um done they are weekly or monthly depending on the event or activities of the organization okay so um after you've recorded the purchases day book, the um, summation of all the events for the month is transferred to the purchases account at the debit side in the general ledger. Okay, it is transferred to the, what, the purchases account at the debit side in general ledger, while the corresponding entry will go to the supplier, individual supplier you bought from in their individual accounts in the ledger, and it will be what, credited, okay, to confirm the principle of double entry. Okay, now let's see the format of the purchases day book. The format of the purchases day book looks thus. We we'll have a column for date, and um, we have a column for particulars, and we have a folio, and we have amount. Okay, we have dates, we have particulars, we have folio, we have amount. Now, the dates, what does the date signify? The dates signify the actual day of the what? The transaction, when the transaction takes place. The actual day, the month, and the year the transaction takes place, which is very important because different transactions can happen at different intervals in a particular month okay so the date is very important okay now why the particulars gives in details the um, name of the supplier and what was bought from them okay it gives in details the name of the supplier and um, how much is it in terms of the price and the quantity how much was bought from them in details okay why the folio the folio stands for a cross-referencing for instance where a particular um, event you can see it in a ledger the particular account you can also see that um, details of transaction in the ledger okay for instance if we're writing a particular event where well, we can see that because in terms of accounts we might have many books so the uh, folio helps us to uh, to refer to um, a particular book where you can see that particular what transaction very fast okay so why the amount is uh, the um, summation of uh, the multiplication of um, the price and the quantity but okay it gives the what the amount okay so that's the amount of the uh, purchases that was made for each of the transaction so this is exactly how a purchases day book looks like okay so after which if you have um, recorded everything the final amount here so if you're done with that, the final amount, you transfer, transfer to purchases account. Purchase account. So under it, we'll now open a purchase account. Now this is a ledger from this part down. This one is a day book. So the purchases account will now look thus. 
you record it here as sundries. Sundries mean the summation of all the transactions for that particular month. Record it here. Then the individual um, supplier, let's say we bought um, item from a floor. So we say the floor account, the floor company. So we we'll credit it as purchases, the amount. Now if we bought sugar also, also do that purchases okay so the summation of all this will give what they have in our sundries this is the that of the company and they prepared all these ones on behalf of the individual supplier okay so from here down is the ledger representation of it but from here now is the word the day book so that is um how the purchases day book looks thus now we are going to see a question on how to solve so we can solve this Okay, now the question said, write up the purchases journal. I told you a purchases journal is the same thing as purchases table of Kwame and post to the ledgers for the month of August 2021. Now we have August 12th, bought from Coca Cola, 12 crates of Coke at 40 naira each, 5 crates of Fanta at 120 naira each, trade discount of 20%. August 17th, bought from PZ Limited for 140 bags of flour at 140 at 10 naira each. 400 soaps at 2 naira each and subject to trade discount of 10%. Now let's do this now. Okay, now the solution. Now they said it's owned by Kwame. So we we'll write the purchases day book for the month of August 2021. Okay, so write this, then so we have our dates here, our portfolio, we have an amount. Okay, so we have dates, we have particulars. We have um, the folio, can have an amount, and also an amount. Okay, so the first one said August 12th, so I have to write it as August 12th. Bought from Coca Cola, so it is um, Coca Cola, Coca Cola, that the transaction that's the name of the supplier, 12 crates of Fanta. So we have 12 crates of, of Coke, sorry. 12 crates of Coke at 140, at 40 Naira each. So using my calculator, that's 12 times 40. It will give us 480 for here. Then the next one, five crates of Fanta at one twenty each. So five crates. That's five times one twenty. We give us six hundred. Okay, that's all. Now they say a trade discount. Now we've talked about discounts, a reduction in the amount that is supposed to be paid. So we we'll add it four eighty plus six hundred. We give us one thousand eighty. So the discount now will not be. Now say less trade discount. The discount will not be 20%. That is 20 over 100 times this total amount, 1080. Okay. So have 20% of 1080 is 216. So I have 216. So 1080 minus 216 will give us 864. So that's the first one, 864. Okay, so the next one can rule this. Oh my god, so I can do this like this. And the next one is August 17. August 17, we have bought from PZ, so it is PZ Limited. 
140 bags of flour at 10 naira each. So we have 140 bags of flour at 10 naira each. So we have 140 times 10 is 1,400. The next one, 400 soaps at 2 naira each. So we have 400 times 2 as 800. So when we add it, we have 1,400 plus 800. We give us 2,200. Okay, now they said it's subject to trade discount of 10%. So when I say less trade discounts, 10%, that is 10 over 100 times the total 2,200 over 1. So 10% of 2,200 is 220. So 2,200 minus 220. Will give us 1980 okay so that is that so if we add it together now 864 864 plus 1980 to give us 1116 and it is this amount now now we'll say transfer to purchases account okay that's how i purchase account 1116 so that is how the day book looks like now let's prepare the next so we have the purchases now the purchases account okay so for the purchases now, since um, the Kwame, they are receiving what was sold to them, so it will now be at the end of the month, either August 30th, we have sundries. Sundries, I said, is a combination of everything. 1,116, that was the amount, okay? Why we will now prepare for the individuals, that's for Coca-Cola now, Coca Cola account. The date of the transaction is August 12th. So I have August 12th purchases accounts. How much is it? 864. That is what word of goods because they give discount. The next one will that be PZ Limited. Also, for PZ Limited, the same thing, August 17. August 17. For Chases, how much? 1980. Okay? So that when you add it up, it equates this. Okay, so that's how to prepare the purchases table. Okay, so please ensure you like this video, please um, subscribe and share this video. And we are going to see the next one, which is return inwards table, return outward table, another aspect of this. Okay, please, we are on, on different social media platforms. We are on TikTok, on Facebook, on Instagram, and on YouTube. Ensure you like, follow us on those channels at the King's Twitter. Thank you very much.